The big story at five, a gunman opens fire outside a Milwaukee home. A teenager is dead, three others wounded. Police are looking for the person who opened fire, and they are doing something unusual at the crime scene. Jermont Terry, live at 34th and Center. He has our big story at 5. Jermont. Carol and Mike, MPD installed a portable camera outside the home where the shooting took place. If you take a look over my shoulder, you can see that this device is equipped with four cameras up top. I'm, ha I'm told that this happened just around midnight when someone came from around the corner and opened fire on the family gathering. Four people were hit, were hit including the 17-year-old deaf teen. Daquan Carter is the latest person killed on the streets of Milwaukee. They came over here to kick it with my brother, it, it happened like this. The family tells us the 17-year-old came to the neighborhood near 34th and Center for a celebration. But as close to 25 people gathered on the block, violence erupted. I just think the guy, we was all here having a good time, and the guy just came from outside the house to get the shoe. Four people were hit, including Carter. There's a good chance he had no idea why people were running because Carter was hearing impaired. He can't even talk. He deaf. The deadly shooting leaves family members like Princess Carter to make a plea to the gunman. If to anybody that know anything, it's best for you to just turn yourself in. As the family grieves, police beefed up patrols. We spotted more bike and motorcycle cops and this. They installed cameras to monitor the block. Why does it always take something to happen and then you want to make a move after the fact? Neighbors welcomed the extra patrols, but some questioned the motive of the cameras. Does the department fear there will be more violence or is this just a front? For sure, for them to be looking like they're doing something. And back live here on the scene, you can see that there's a notice. The house is now boarded up where the shooting took place. We're told by um, what from some of the family members that police came late this afternoon along with the city and told them that this place was uninhabitable for anyone to live in. And now obviously this is happening after this shooting took place. As for this community, they are not st uh, they are standing up against this violence. In about an hour from now, the community will have a stop the violence rally right here on this block to protest this quadruple shooting. On your side, live in Milwaukee at 34th and Center, Jermont Terry, today's TMJ4. Senseless violence. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jermont.